In today's tough economic climate, a big concern for college students is finding a job after graduation. The supply of applicants can sometimes exceed the demand. But that's not the case in the field of applied engineering and technology at Moorhead State University, as more than 80% of graduates are finding career placement. The purpose of this department is to assist the economic development of our region. We do that by uh, training, educating people who can graduate from this department and take positions in applied engineering and technology related uh, jobs in companies that are a state of the art and are industrial business based companies in our region. I'm very well prepared. I've been working with a few of the companies in Moorhead with some special problems that they've had. So I feel like I've been prepared to help them, to benefit them, and then also summer internships that I've been able to work with companies. Any degree, you always have that concern of, you know, how long is it going to take to find a job after you're done. Uh, with the degree we do here, I think you can pretty much get something pretty soon out. They have a lot of connections with the surrounding companies. The graduates of this department are consistently taking jobs in their field uh, with, uh, with high salaries. At MSU, learning comes from much more than books. Students get the hands-on experience that prepares them for real problems and solutions in the real world. The hands-on experience that they get from a program like ours most most um, typical engineering type programs will, will be more of you know kind of theoretical approach to design and application but we try to incorporate a lot of hands-on things and our students seem to be suited for that. Didn't really know what I wanted to do when I came here but I knew I wanted to be in this department so uh, I like to like take things apart and figure out how they work so that's why I changed from electronics to manufacturing. Students have to conceive of a problem many times these problems are problems that they have already seen in industries that they've either co-opt with interned with or are actually working for uh, and so they say this is this is a problem that needs solving this is how I would solve it they have to lay out the steps they have to plan their steps they have to write you know, a 40, 50, or even a 100 page report and binder that details all of their investigations and their solutions, their drawings, their technical drawings, and all of their analysis. Uh, teaching technology and engineering is a moving target. We know that we have to constantly develop our curriculum, improve our programs, and that is what we have been doing. Celebrating 45 years of broadcasting from the campus of Moorhead State University. One of the things I really appreciate about the, the department is that my background wasn't in that area and I was able to come in and pick up some skills and, and take courses that I could take back to my current position in Moorhead State Public Radio. The Applied Technology Department had courses in business management and quality control, but also in areas of graphic design and computer networking. It really, any department, any program could benefit from using those skills. We tried to have a very close relationship with our past students, so we will learn from them. I mean, they also will see uh, the, the, go the development of our pro programs. One of the many highlights of the spring semester was the unique partnership established by Moorhead State University and the Kentucky Community and Technical College System. The Applied Engineering and Technology Department was at the forefront of this agreement. We do have a program called In Technology Management. This is a completer program aimed at helping the KCTCS graduates to complete a BS degree online. This is a unique program uh, in the state that allows graduates of KCTCS to complete a technical degree program online. of transfer. This agreement is unique 